Hello Pickles and welcome to today's How To Toots. In this tutorial we're doing a two-way flying TNT machine. A list of the building materials will be found in the description below, so go and find those there. And on with the tutorial. Okay, so once you've picked your area and we're going to use this area that's highlighted on the screen, there's a few things you need to do first though. Because we're using TNT and obviously it explodes, you have to build your machines with a 10 block distance between the floor and your machine. So we need to go down, have a look at the area, and select our highest point, basically. So if we say we're going to clear from here, like I showed in the image, we want to kind of level out the area pretty much down to a certain height. So if we're going to pick this height here as our top height. You just need to quickly come along and take out any block that is above that height there, and then you can go 10 blocks from this being the highest height. So now we can get on with the build. So the first thing you're going to want to build are your return stations. And like I was saying earlier, you need to build these 10 blocks higher than the highest point of your ground. So this is our highest point here. So we're going to place a block here to match that height. Then we're going to go 10 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're now 10 blocks above this ground here. We'll place a block of obsidian on the top, a temporary block on the side, and another block of obsidian there. So you have them at a diagonal. We'll break the temporary block. Place a redstone torch, place a lever, place a repeater and put that onto one tick. It's important that that happens. We'll then grab our observer. You want to place a temporary block, temporary block, break that temporary block there and place your observer pointing into the temporary block at the end and then you can break that. So you now have the smiley face facing you when you look at it in this direction. So that's one station done. What we can now do is break these temporary blocks here. Then we come up to the station, come to your lowest block of obsidian, and we're going to go out as far as we want the flying machine to go to. So this is the point where the flying machine will hit the end and return back to its station on the other side. So I think that is far enough there. And then what you want to do is place a block of obsidian on the top of the end of the station there and then place another block of obsidian there you can break this as it's a temporary block place your redstone torch place your repeater put it onto one tick place your lever on the back place two temporary blocks break the first one place your observer on there and then the smiley face is facing you here and you break that temporary block we can now break all of this and go back to the beginning so now we have our return stations in place it's time to build the flying machine you want to come down to here and you want to grab your observer shift and place it face it into the redstone repeater we then want to grab our slime block place that onto the back of the observer there then facing this observer here you will put your sticky piston and then have a slime block on the front of there we then want to turn around and put a sticky piston facing in the opposite direction here so looks like that and then what we can then do is place a temporary block and a temporary block breaking that and then we'll place an observer facing into that temporary block there and then we can break the temporary block that won't move if you do it the other way around it could send the flying machine off so this is your like two-way flying machine now to add the tnt dupers to the side of the flying machine so you want to do is come down to this side here with the repeater on it and you're going to place a slime block slime block below that and a slime block on the side there so you have an l shape pointing to the obsidian we're going to place our wall on there detector rail on the top facing in to the slime block that way and our minecart on top of that we then want to come to the back we're going to place a slime block on the back and a slime block below that and our coral fan is going to go onto that there we then want to come around to the other side and repeat the process but in the opposite direction so we're going to place a slime block, a slime block, slime block, wall, detector rail facing into the slime block with a minecart on the top, slime block on the back, slime block below, and your coral on the end there. That's the TNT duper. All you need now, obviously, is the TNT. And how we're going to do this is we're going to go to this side first. So the wall facing your return station, you're going to place your TNT onto the wall block there and that will prime the TMT as it flies towards the station. 
So what we want to do is we'll flick this lever off and it will send it forward. And then we flick it back on again so that it stops when it comes back to the side. And as you can see here, the TNT has moved back onto this slime block here. So that is primed ready for when the TNT duper will start. The TNT only falls as it is being pulled rather than pushed. And this is why we have the levers on the back here is so that this flying machine will stop when it gets this side so that you can now, when you get to this side, prime that TNT and then we can flick this lever to start the TNT. We don't need to turn this back on again because we don't need to worry about it coming, um, stopping when it gets back to here again. This TNT, now it's been primed, will fire as it goes along. So we pull the lever and as you can see, the TNT duper is now working. And this side has been primed as well. So it's moved back one block underneath the sticky piston. Move back a bit because it's loud. Now that has stopped we can come around check to make sure that it is all okay and yes it is and now we can start the machine off we pull the lever and we can just watch this and it will just go back and forwards dropping tnt in both directions making us the two-way tnt flying machine now as you may see it's only obviously clearing a small channel so if you wanted to clear a bigger area what you need to do is you need to come underneath here and repeat the process again. Place a temporary block, two, three, four, five, six, and come six out. We can then place our obsidian on top of there. Temporary block, obsidian, redstone torch, lever, and our repeater on one tick. And then on this side, what we want to do is we want to come out one two three four five six and then we're coming one we've done that so that we don't place a block on this tnt otherwise you'll lose it we can place our obsidian on here temporary block and our obsidian there and then we can break all these temporary blocks and these as well and then place our redstone torch our repeater on one tick and our lever on the back Remember to put your observers on this obsidian block here, facing this way. Now all we need to do is just repeat the build for the TNT dupers and the return stations on the other side. So now we have three along here. You can make this as long as you like though. You can come out another three on this side. Just be aware of uh, lag. Obviously if you have too many, but you could build this 10 that way, 10 that way. I've done maximum at the moment I've done so far is 10 of these flying machines all going at once, but you could do, you could do more. So now all we need to do is set up firing all these off in one go so in order to link up your return stations what you want to do is put a temporary block down here a block forward breaking the temporary block behind you then come one back two out this side two out in this side like this and then we can come all the way along here to our next flying machine and place it there and then come all the way over the other side to our next return station and place a block there and then you can carry that on this way all the way along for as many return stations as you have. Then we want to place a repeater here. Take out the lever, place repeater there. Take out the lever and place repeater. So you have repeaters all in front of these bits of obsidian instead of the levers. We then place redstone all the way along here. We don't need those. Like so. And you'll carry the redstone along. And then all we need to do is grab a lever. Place the lever on the side. Then once that's set up, all you need to do is flick the lever and then it will send all flying machines off in that direction. Turn station on this side, you don't have to have the same setup. You can just flip the levers down so that your TNT flying machines will return to the one point. And there you have your two-way TNT flying machine. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any problems with this, then please join the Discord. The link will be in the description below. You can also find me on Instagram at Bobber Pickle, Twitter at Bobber Pickle, and TikTok at Bobber Pickle. Anyway, ciao for now.